Hello, everyone. I'm Guang Nanfeng from Science Sen University. I'm honored to be here to present our paper. Our paper's topic is Optimize the MPI Collective Algorithms for Dragonfly Topology. Dragonfly is a high scalability, low diameter, and cost efficient network topology adopted in more and more supercomputing networks. As we know, the three new supercomputing systems in US, Frontier, ER Captain, and Aurora, use Slingshot Interconnect. And the Dragonfly topology is the default topology for slingshot based systems. In addition, MPI is the most prominent and dominant programming model for scientific computing in supercomputing systems. However, we find that Dragonfly topology will limit the performance of some MPI collective operations. Thus, we propose this work to improve them. My presentation contains five parts. Firstly, I will introduce Dragonfly topology and some algorithms used in MPI collective operation. Then, I will analyze the bottleneck of these algorithms when they are used in Dragonfly topology. After that, I will introduce our optimizations for these algorithms. Finally, I will show the evaluation of our optimizations. A typical Dragonfly topology consists of multiple groups, and each group consists of some fully connected switches. If we think of a group as a larger virtual switch, all the groups are also fully connected. We call the links cross the group's global link and call the links in the group local link. A load balanced Dragonfly topology should satisfy the number of switches in a group is twice as large as the number of computer nodes connected to one switch, and is twice as large as the number of links connected to other group in a switch. As for routing, there are three kinds of routing mainly used in Dragonfly topology. Those are minimal routing, non-minimal routing, and adaptive routing. The green line shows an example of minimal routing. Minimal routing contains only one global link and traverses at most four hops. And the purple line shows an example of non-minimal routing. Non-minimal routing randomly selects a group to take a detour. It contains two global links and traverses at most six hops. To avoid congestion in the network, adaptive routing can be used to choice a minimal path or non-minimal path adaptively. Next, I will introduce some algorithms that are used in some open source MPI implementation for these collective operations. These MPI collective operations are optimized later. As for the other collective operations, such as broadcast and reduce, there are well-optimized algorithms for them in Dragonfly topology. Thus, we focus on the rest of them. In all gather operation, it gathers data from all ranks and distributes the combined data to all ranks. We can use recursive doubling algorithm when the number of process is power of 2. In each step k, process i exchange all the data with process of i x for the k power of 2. It needs log n steps in total. We can use Brook algorithm when the number of process is not power of 2. In each step k, process i sends data to i minus k power of 2 and sends data to i plus k power of 2. Finally, it needs a local shift. When the amount of data is large, we can use ring algorithm or neighbor exchange algorithm. Let's focus on what they have in common. Both of them only communicate with neighbor processes. Outwall is a collective operation in which all processes send data to each other and receive data from each other. Finally, the result lies in the receive buffer in order. Pairwise algorithm is the most direct method for all-to-all operation. For each step k, process i sends data to process i plus k and receive data from process i minus k. Batch send receive algorithm optimize pairwise algorithm by posting a batch of sending and receiving operations at one time, which can improve the performance for small messages. Reduce scatter operation is equivalent to a reduce operation followed by a scatter operation that specifies the number of data distributed on each process. Recursive having algorithm can be used for reduce scatter. In each step, each process sends half of its data to the destination shown in the figure, and keeps the rest of data to wait for reduced calculation with received data. When the number of process is not power of 2, it should be reduced to the nearest power of 2 by having the first several even number processes send their data to their right neighboring processes, and the results are sent back to the left neighbor at the end. When the amount of data is large, we can use pairwise algorithm. Each process sends proper data to its destination directly. 
or reduce operation is equivalent to reduce operation except that the result appears in the receive buffer of all processes. Ribbon cipher algorithm is often used for all reduce. It performs a reduce scatter operation and then followed by an all gather operation. Note that the pattern in reduce scatter operation is different from recursive having algorithm we just mentioned. The intermediate results are not in order on each process. We can use recursive doubling algorithm when the amount of data is small. Although it costs additional communication and calculation, it contains less steps. Thus, it will be faster when the amount of data is small. Ring algorithm can also be used when the amount of data is large. Again, other processes only communicate with neighbor processes. Actually, there are algorithms such as part algorithms that have optimized for all reduced operation in Dragonfly topology and their performance is excellent. For example, PARD takes only six steps to finish or reduce operation. However, all of them assume that all the nodes in the Dragonfly topology are allocated for this job. It's unpractical in supercomputing systems because supercomputing systems usually serve many users at the same time, and it's unavoidable that failure nodes exist in the system. Therefore, our optimizations are based on the following two assumptions. Firstly, we assume that a random set of nodes are selected from all available nodes in the system for the job, which means no limitation for scheduler. Secondly, we assume that the ranks map to the allocated nodes in order instead of random mapping. Although random mapping can eliminate the contention introduced next, it will decrease the performance of neighboring communication. In addition, many programmers assume that neighboring process located in neighboring place in the network. Thus, we prefer to preserve the performance of neighboring communication. Next, let's analyze the bottleneck of these algorithms in Dragonfly topology. The first one is intra-job interference. The pairwise algorithm used in auto-wall operation and reduced scatter operation can cause intra-job interference. In each step of pairwise, the rank differences between any communication pair are the same. It is shown as the parallel lines in the left figure. The right figure shows the part of traffic of the left figure. Rank 1, 2, 3 are sending messages to rank 7, 8, 9 respectively. The bold red line is the common global link in their minimal paths, which is in congestion. In the worst case, completion time will be three times longer if minimal routing is used. If adaptive routing is used, many packets have to traverse through non-minimal paths. Next, interjob interference will occur among the jobs with the same communication pattern, such as ring algorithm and a neighbor exchange algorithm. Both of them only communicate with neighbor processes. The figure shows three jobs executing ring algorithm at the same time. The bold red line is the common global link in their minimal path. Under this circumstance, Three jobs are computing for the bandwidth in the bold red link. In some algorithms, a large amount of data is transferred to far away destinations, while a small amount of data is transferred to neighboring destinations, such as recursive doubling. We call it topology mismatch. An example of eight processes altogether is shown in this figure. The green lines shows the first step in recursive doubling algorithm, which transfer the least amount of data and the destinations are their neighboring nodes. The red line shows the last step in recursive doubling algorithm, which transfers the largest amount of data, and the destinations are far away nodes. For these bottlenecks, we propose the five optimizations. I will introduce them one by one. The first optimization is pseudo-random pairwise. It shuffles all the nodes to eliminate the intra-drop interference. Directly shuffle by randomly exchange two elements in the node list is easy to understand, but of course extra space. A faster and more simple method is shown in the right figure. If we select A and C properly, it can traverse nearly randomly from 0 to n minus 1. The next destination can be calculated easily by multiplying A and adding C and then mod n. The second optimization is tree-based shuffle. It can be used to elevate interjob interference for ring algorithm and a neighbor exchange algorithm. It is an extra step to reorder the nodes before communication operation. Firstly, the computer nodes, switches, and the groups of current job are organized into a tree according to their hierarchical position in the network. 
Then the root node shuffles its children nodes to change each group's neighboring groups. After that, each group shuffles its children nodes to change each switch's neighboring switches. In the next step, each group tries to find out two switches that are closer to its two neighbor groups and move them to the head and tail respectively. This step can decrease the latency of intergroup communication and reduce the use of local links. At last, traversing the shuffled tree gets new ranks for each process. After tree-based shuffle, the contention for the link connecting neighboring groups can be decreased. The third optimization is reversed recursive doubling. It can be used to avoid topology mismatch. We add an extra step for recursive doubling. For each process i, we reverse its binary string to get i prime. If i prime is not i itself, process i and i prime exchange their data. In this example, rank 1 exchange data with rank 4, and rank 3 exchange data with rank 6. In this way, in the last step that transferring half of the total data, each process only needs to exchange data with its neighbor instead of a far away process. The fourth optimization is reordered Brook, which can be used to avoid topology mismatch. An extra step is added compared to standard Brook algorithm. For each process storing i block of data, we try to move the second last block of data to its right neighbor. In this way, in the last several steps that transferring the most total data, each process only needs to send their data to its neighbor instead of a faraway process. The last optimization is match the ribbon safer, which can be used to avoid a potential topology mismatch. As shown in the figure, the red lines shows the first step of standard ribbon safer algorithm which contains three global links and six local links. An ideal matching is shown with green lines, which contains one global link and two local links. To decrease the use of links, we set priority for matching. Pairs under the same switch has the highest priority, then the pairs in the same group, and the pairs in the different groups has the lowest priority. But the implementation for the priority matching is a little different. Firstly, we match the pairs under the same switch such as the rank 3 and rank 4 in the figure. Then we match the part of pairs in different groups that contains all the number of remaining nodes. In this case, group 0 and group 3 contains all the number of remaining nodes. Match rank 0 and rank 7 is a better choice. At last, we match the pairs in the same group. It is the details for matching part of pairs in different groups. Firstly, we shrink each group that contains all the number of remaining nodes to a vertex in graph G. And the distance of edges in G are the shortest path among the remaining nodes in Dragonfly topology. Then we perform minimum weight perfect matching for graph G. In this example, dotted lines represent direct global links among these groups. After a minimum weight perfect matching, group 0 matches group 8, and group 3 matches group 4. Considering the closest ranks, rank 0 matches rank 7, and rank 5 matches rank 6. So far, we optimized nearly all the algorithms used in all gather, all to all, reduce scatter, and all reduce, except the Brook algorithm used for all to all operation, which we are still working on it. We evaluate our optimizations with Cody's Network Simulation Toolkit. It's a high-performance parallel discrete event simulation framework targeting large-scale networking for HPC environments. We simulate a Dragonfly network with more than 44,000 nodes. The bandwidth is set to 12 gigabytes per second. All of the minimal routing, non-minimal routing, and adaptive routing are tested to compare their improvement. The overhead of calculation and data movements is simulated. We simulate three different size of job to compare their improvements. Small, median, and large size job use about 1%, 9%, and 74% of nodes in the total system respectively. As our assumption, these nodes are selected randomly from the total system. Here is the result of MPI auto operation. The three figures on the left shows the speed up of small, medium, and large size job. The slowest one in each situation is set as baseline and shown with 100%. The higher bar is faster. The solid bar shows the speed of standard algorithms, and the shadowed bar shows the speed of our optimizations. Different colors shows different routing. In small and medium size job, 
our optimization, many speed up outward operation when minimal routing is used, and almost catches up the speed of adaptive routing. Our optimization works best in the large size jobs. The right figure shows the hop statistics of large size job with adaptive routing. It shows our optimization reduce the average hops and decrease the packets transfer through a non-minimal path. Since no obvious performance degradation is observed, this optimization can be applied to all in all conditions. Here is the result of MPI all operation. For the small size job, optimize the algorithm speed up only in minimal routing. In other conditions, the overhead of extra step in reverse recursive doubling and reordered Brook algorithm is unaffordable. In the medium-sized job, the optimization shows improvement, but the standard algorithms with non-minimal routing perform best. However, the cost of the best performance is much more hops. The right figure shows the hop statistics of medium-sized job. We can see the standard algorithms with non-minimal routing shows the largest average hops and nearly all the package transverse five or six hops. In large size job, optimized algorithm perform the best with all routing methods. Thus, we suggest that this op optimization should be used in medium size job with minimal and adaptive routing and large size job with any routing. Here is the result of reduced scatter. Our optimization shows improvement in medium and large size job with minimal and adaptive routing. The larger the data, the greater the speed up. Similarly, in small and medium size job, standard algorithms with non minimal routing perform the best. The same, it pays the cost of large average hops as shown in right figure. In large size job, optimized algorithms perform the best with all routing methods. The speed up for reduced scatter is the largest among all the operations. This also confirms the serious topology mismatch problem in reduced scatter operation. Here is the result for all reduce. Our optimization shows improvement in minimal and adaptive routing, but the improvement is a little, because there is not much room for optimization. The right figure shows the standard algorithms achieve low average hops, but our optimization still improves it. Here is the evaluation of our optimization for inter-job interference. We select a real cynic from Mirror Systems public logs. The logs shows that on July 25th, 2017, 98 jobs with 128 nodes in each job were running in the system at the same time. All of these jobs called MPI or reduce with a buffer size about 6 MB. We simulate this with Codis simulator. The results shows that Tree-based shuffle can speed up ring algorithm with minimal routing and adaptive routing, which elevates the inter-job interference. We also compared it with Raven Safer algorithm. Ring algorithm with tree-based shuffle is faster because large buffer size. The above results are based on in-order mapping. According to reviewers' suggestion, we also compared our optimization plus in-order mapping with random mapping plus standard algorithm. In auto operation, their performance are the same. In reduced scatter operation, our optimization is faster than random mapping. As for all gather, our optimization is slower in Brook algorithm, and our optimization for recursive doubling performs better in large size job and medium size job with minimal routing. As for all reduced algorithm, our optimization shows better performance in larger job size and minimal routing. Therefore, there is still room for further optimization. We are still working on it. At last, here is a summary of our work. In this work, we analyze three bottlenecks of collective algorithms in Dragonfly topology and propose five different optimizations for four MPI collective operations. Our optimizations are based on two realistic assumptions, that is, random nodes allocation and in-order task mapping. The results show that our optimizations work better in larger job size and larger buffer size. They can speed up the most in minimal routing and it can decrease average packet hops and reduce the pressure on the network. For more details, please refer to our paper. That's all of my presentation. Thanks for your listening.